So, I almost feel sorry for the pesky dames. Their attempts at censorship have, uh, backfired pretty badly. And gotten me a lot of new subscribers, too. So, I mean, that's always sweet. But, well, I mean, growing up, it's an uncomfortable process. Now, somebody, uh, what do you call it, requested that I do more pesky dames videos. The only problem with that is that I've responded to all the ones that are even remotely watchable. Like, they have tons of videos, and most of them it is impossible to get through them. But, since everybody else is risking their channels, you know, putting up Pesky Dames videos, I don't want to be the only one who's just sitting back with no risk. So I'm gonna, you know, <clears throat> muster up some gumption and get through some more of their shitty videos. But don't expect this to be too great. It's just to be an ass. Oh, and feel free to mirror this. In fact, Feel free to mirror any of my videos, as long as you put my username or a link to my channel somewhere in the description. All yours, help yourself. See how that's done, pesky dames? It's called not being a selfish bitch. Now, let's go ahead. Hey YouTube, guess what we're going to be talking about this week? It's you! We're going to be talking about you! And all the wonderful things you say in the comments. All the other well now, I know we're not talking about me because I got blocked pretty goddamn quickly. And also, even before I was blocked, my comments were never in the comments section. Because they're set to approval. Yeah. Behind the safety of anonymity. On the other hand, it empowers ordinary people. Who it turns out, behind the safety of anonymity, are occasionally massive bigoted wankers. And the more bigoted they are, the louder they shout. Until all reasonable dialogue has been drowned out. I sincerely doubt that reasonable dialogue being drowned out was a serious risk. But do go on. Now you might be thinking, sure everyone knows that the internet is full of loud obnoxious arseholes, just deal with it. Get a thicker skin. Don't read the comments. Ignore them and just stop whining. Actually, you know, my mind drifts. I was thinking back to that earlier thing you said about how loud they shout. How can typed comments have a greater volume than other typed comments? If you're thinking that, then you Probably identify as male. Well, I don't know. I have a penis and muscles. Like to fart. Uh, unlike you, though, uh, and most feminists, I don't just go around obsessing over my genitals and making a whole identity of the thing. But you know, whatever. Go on. The women or anyone who uses the internet under a potentially female identity get special attention from the asshole. We get threats of sexual violence. That is fucking disgusting. That, that turns my stomach, it seriously does. Threats against our family. Death threats. People doing everything they can to find out where you live in real life so that they can teach you some respect. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I get on the internet and pretend to be a 19-year-old girl and I, you know, upload sexy pictures of girls, I can usually get 40-year-old men to send me lots of money and gifts, but that's my online experience. I think what you need is a better looking face and body. Because, like, you can get a lot of swag that way. Believe me. This, dear YouTube, is scary fucking shit. It is real, and it is being used to intimidate and silence half the population. Things on the internet are real? Let me ask you this, when you watch cartoons, do you think those are real? I, I'm just wondering how solid your grasp on what is real and what is not is. We wouldn't accept this harassment in real life. So why do we accept it on the internet? Oh, fun little thing. I don't know if everybody's seen this video where this guy named Econ Razor, he's this Christian guy that I mocked. He, he looks like he might be a meth head, has long hair, hillbilly, whatever. Uh, anyway, he sends me these threatening PMs about how he's going to, like, rape my eye socket or some shit. So I said, would you like my actual address so you can come over and do that? Because he says that he's going to do all that if you know, civilization ends because of us atheists, and I'm like, well, you know, it's going to be hard to come over here and kill me after civilization ends because the roads are going to be all fucked up, and it's just, so why don't you come over here now and try that shit, motherfucker? No response. I guess that would, I guess what I did was the courageous thing. Maybe the stupid thing. I guess I could have just sat in a puddle of my own urine whimpering. I mean, there's another option. I'm sorry, go on. Oh, but I hear you cry. What about free speech? Censorship is bad. They'll only out themselves in the end as the bigoted, ignorant idiots that they are. <laughs> I didn't say any of that crap. 
You're really bad at predicting what I'm going to say. Let me repeat myself, Internet. Scary fucking shit. This is not free speech. This is harassment on a massive scale, and this is not okay. Again, if you're sat there thinking, you're overreacting, being hysterical, being too emotional. Congratulations, and minus 50 points. You have just engaged in the fun internet pastime of gaslighting. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So when you're like, I see some trolling comments, and I'm goddamn terrified for my life. This is real harassment, and it's so, so fucking serious and scary in every way. That's not being too emotional. Huh? All right. Good to know. That is the right level of emotionality. Dismissing a woman's opinion based on sexist stereotypes instead of on the merits of her actual argument. If you were a man, I would be so much fucking meaner to you right now. That's what's sexist. Because, I mean, I mean I'm a raging sexist in the sense that I'm not nearly as harsh as on you as I would be if you were a man saying this ridiculous emotional bullshit. If a man was saying that, I would be like, I'm gonna kick your ass, you fucking nerd. But then again, I've been told I'm a bully. Women have been putting up with this shit silently for years, but thankfully it's something that people are finally talking about. And gaslighting is just one of the terms that has recently gained some attention. In recent weeks, a number of high-profile journalists, bloggers and writers have come forward to talk about the gendered hate mail and comment thread abuse that they've received over the years. Many of them have admitted that this constant tirade of abuse has actually led them to actively avoid popularity by deleting blogs or shutting off comment threads before they get too popular, or by actually ceasing to write on the internet altogether. If you're interested in some of the recent articles that have come out, I'll put some links in the description for you. Faced with the almost certain prospect of this abuse, many women will simply never go into blogging, never go into journalism, never start a YouTube channel. Oh, that's terribly interesting that I seem to have lost interest all the same. But hey, you know what? I'll help you, pesky dames. Let me give a word of advice to everybody. Let's not use these gendered slurs, these threats of violence, threats of rape. No, that is not classy. But, you know, you should point out when people are saying ridiculous bullshit, which is what I like to do. I mean, I guess, I guess I'm sort of biased in that way, because that's how I would prefer to do it. So everybody have a nice day.